I guess it's kind of like the fear of the unknown with all the things I, the calls and the emails that I needed to do. Good morning, guys. Let's go up to the third floor. Oh, yes, it's Christmas land up here. Okay, here's what, here's the deal. This is one of my favorite mugs on earth. We got it maybe four years ago from, where did we get it? Pottery Barn. It was like, I think it was like after Christmas sale. They were all the alphabetic, alphabet, <laughs> alphabet mugs they had the X's left so we bought an X mug and I love it I have two of them one of them the handle already broke off and I'm pretty sure we glued it back on and it's fine this morning I went to put this in the dishwasher and the I had the handle I can feel it it's like moving and when I looked really close I could find a little fracture Let's see. Yeah, you can see it right there. So, I came upstairs to the drawer with all of the glue. I'm hoping so fabric glue isn't gonna work, but ta -da! I think these little things are great. This is from the Dollar Tree, and it's like individual super glue bottles, so it doesn't I don't know. That way it doesn't leak onto anything. Oh yes, okay, there it is. All right. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wow, this is actually a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. I think when I was little, the fear of super gluing my fingers together was pretty significant. And I've never glued my fingers together so much that I couldn't get them apart. So maybe I can put that fear to rest. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, wow, the glue is dripping down. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a long time. So far, today has been a go, 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 let's do this kind of Friday. Peter was calling the pharmacy where we get Trichafta, and at the same time, I was calling the pharmacy where my immunoglobulin therapy comes from, and we're trying to get all the details worked out for all the things. And I'm just noticing the super glue is dripping I do not think I did that right, but we'll see what happens. So pharmacy calls are done and then I placed, or I didn't place an order. I sent an email to Harry's vet. We have some questions and we'll probably be taking him in for an appointment. And what else? Oh, a couple of like emails I needed to reply to and all the things. I do think that the most stressful part is over, but um, we'll see. We'll see what the rest of the day holds. I did just feel kind of like, I guess it's kind of like the fear of the unknown with all the things I, the calls and the emails that I needed to do, tackle them. And then it takes down the fear of the unknown because it's not unknown because you did it, right? But, yeah, I don't know what the rest of the day holds. I'm literally going to leave the mug up here so it'll dry for a long time, like a couple of days. And then I'll come back up and see how it's doing. All right. Let's do this. Meaning the rest of the day.
Okay, I just chopped up a few potatoes. I'm going to boil them. I cut them really small, so hopefully they'll cook really quickly. Yeah? And then I was thinking we have a little bit of chicken left, and this is some gravy that I made a couple of days ago. And then last night we had steak and sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts are gone. Oh yeah, and we have this chicken. So I thought I'll just heat up these three things and then have the mashed potatoes. And maybe I will go ahead and cook the rest of the Brussels sprouts. Yeah, that should work. Okay, I just took some of the chicken off that, the, le the leftover like carcass, um, yeah, that I roasted the other day and added it to the extra chicken from when I boiled the soup base. So now I have all this chicken left over because I just put some in the oven to kind of reheat for tonight. So I need to think up what I want to do with this chicken. I could make enchiladas, um, but I feel like Peter might be a little enchilada out. Here's the, our leftover soup. We'll probably finish that for lunch tomorrow. Hmm, we'll see. And I'm just getting everything ready. I think the potatoes are probably almost done. Hmm, let's see what else. I drained them, and now butter, and smash them, and then some milk and salt. Most normal people are excited to lick the beaters when they're making sweets, but I get more excited to lick the beaters when I'm making mashed potatoes. Salty, buttery, perfect. Mmm. And there we go. This is starting to get hot. And the Brussels sprouts look nice and crispy. How's it going? Good. Here you go. What, what, what am I supposed to say? Hello I, guys, I am coming in the house now. I have been outside working. Guys, I've been working on my sermon all day and I'm hungry and Mary has made us some food and I'm really grateful. Oh, that's a sweet buoy. <laughs> is Hims the sweetest buoy? Hims is. We prefer to use improper pronouns with our animals. Like. Him's a good boy. Him's a good boy too. They're both good boys. Also, we're having Christmas water. Mm, look at that. I got our little Christmas village cups out today. Did we get those at Savers? Savers, yeah, I think like 50 cents a piece. Okay, this dinner looks really delicious. Thank you, previous Mary, for roasting a chicken for us to eat. Wait for it. Okay. One of the like, okay. Don't look at his angry eyes, okay? But one of the things that makes us just melt. See how his like, arms are like folded in? That's like anatomically impossible with Ollie. Hey, Ollie. Yeah, so Ollie's legs bend this way. Harry's legs bend this way, like, like in that way. And it cracks us up. Like we said before, we've never understood cats because we've never had a cat in our life. So when Harry came into our life and his little paws started bending in, we thought it was so hilarious. It's and hilarious. Um, yeah, can you believe that it has we're just a couple weeks away from celebrating one year with Harry. It's crazy. Guys, I, I've been working on, I was finishing up my message for Sunday pretty much all day today. And it's been so fun because I love 
um, preaching and I miss doing it consistently and I was realizing this is the first time I'm preaching in person we're doing it in a parking lot outdoors and since January and so um, it's just crazy and it like so one of the things I was thinking about today is like how life-giving and amazing it's been this week to prepare and um, have the opportunity to preach this week but also how grateful I am for I feel like it's just God's perfect timing that I wasn't pastoring for this year that we had to navigate a pandemic and I think I would have been faced with some really hard decisions of feeling torn between protecting Mary and caring for people in the church yeah. and I think it's just really as much as it's been a hard year like I've done a lot of video things throughout this year but um, yeah. I'm just grateful for that timing and um, yeah sometimes we don't see the big picture till down the road um, yeah yeah yeah, we were um, remembering, I guess a couple of weeks ago, it was a year ago when the moving truck came to our house in Massachusetts and it was a day that Peter was preaching at a funeral and it was just craziness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was, it was a crazy day, but I forget why I said that. Well, it was a year ago that yeah, know, I. Well, it was the end of my time pastoring at that church. And, right. Um. So, yeah. anyways, we're just we're really grateful. I it's been, um, a super like, restful year for me, just like personally and regrouping after like pastoring during a season when Mary's health was really struggling. Yeah. Um, and so I think, um, yeah, I think there's a lot of things that I've been reflecting on. Mary is so cute. Uh, but, uh, in the midst of all of that, we're really grateful for the church that we got plugged in with here where, um, We've been able to just become part of the family and um, like have, have opportunities to preach to on Sunday and things like that. Yeah. So yeah. it's really good it and life giving. Is. Yeah, it has been. So those are our thoughts for tonight. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, you know what that means? Good night, stretch. Oh, stretch. Good night. Do you want to give Harry a kiss? Where's your brother? Where's your brother? We're going to give Harry a kiss. <laughs> <laughs>